What up everybody? In next months, Figma will release one amazing feature we all have been waiting for, prototyping inside components. This feature is currently in beta, so whatever you will see today might be a bit different in future, but you will see the gist of it. We can't make prototyping connections inside components now, so in order, for example, to present different states of a checkbox, we need to repeat our designs quite a lot and think about all possible permutations. That makes prototyping hard and prone to mistakes. With this new feature, we will be able to make connections inside our components and when we use them in our designs, they will remember these connections. That means less repetition and fewer mistakes. So how about we jump into Figma to see how that might work? So what you see right now is Figma Playground, which they created to kind of explore this new feature. And I will show you the basic usage, like with the philosophy, how that should work in future. So we have a button over here. This is a very basic design element we use constantly. So in order to make connections inside components, you see we already have components over here. You see that it's a component for sure because it's purple. And then I will click on prototype. I will make a connection to how it looks when it's hovering. And then instead on click, I will select while hovering. This is a new menu option in prototyping. Click, that's it. I will close this now. And this is an instance of this component. You can see by the icon over here, it's just an instance. And then when I play this prototype, we're gonna wait a little bit, okay. So now if I hover, it should change to field purple, right? Let's see and it actually works. So let's go back over here just to prove my point. I will duplicate it again. So let's pretend we are using it all around our designs and they are working just as expected. So you don't have to repeat your designs in order to mimic this interaction. Wherever you drop this button, they will do exactly this effect. Isn't this freaking amazing. So apart what you've just seen right now, here are some examples of how you will be able to use this feature. Enjoy! If you have any design related questions, especially around Figma, you can book mentoring session with me on Superpeer. It's a platform for one-on-one -on -one video mentoring. Also, remember to subscribe to get more Figma and design tutorials and a lot more content that will help you in your design career. Take care and ciao ski!